Sharos from Sri Lanka, he says, what, or what is the definition? Who are the Khawarij so that we be careful from not being with them? See, nowadays with the media, a lot of the youth are confused because the moment someone says something against a Muslim government or a Muslim ruler or a minister or any practice that he sees wrong and he says, this is unfair, this is wrong, this is th this or that, immediately you will find an army of people accusing him of being Khawarij. And this is totally unfair, un-Islamic, because you cannot label someone to be a hypocrite or to call him as a kafir. And these people know this, that there are conditions to be fulfilled, there are obstacles to be made sure they do not exist before we can label someone as a kafir or as a hypocrite or as a mushrik and likewise as a khawarij. You can't label people simply as such. So this is why a lot of the youth are saying, okay, whenever I open my mouth, they say you're a khawarij. What is this? No, khawarij is a cult, it is a sect that was found at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. And their main characteristics is one, they see it is fit and permissible to rebel and overthrow Muslim rulers. This is a very prominent characteristic. So all what you see among those who called for the Arab Spring, overthrowing governments, taking down Muslim rulers, just because they were unfair or they were tyrants, they're still Muslim. This is a prominent uh, a characteristic of Al Khawarij. Number two, is giving takfir. So you oppose me, you're a kafir. And this is found not only with the Khawarij, it's found also with other deviant sects. You don't believe that the Prophet ﷺ was light and created from Allah's light? You're a kafir, you're this, you're that. So these two main Treats and characteristics, if found an individual, he would be from among the Khawarij. Anything else? A lot. If you study their literature and how they think, they, you will find that they have no problem in killing Muslims. And being in truce with the non-Muslims. You will find that they have no problem in taking your money unlawfully or anyone else who's not with them because they think that all of them are kuffar and their wealth, their blood is all halal for us. And this is very dangerous. And if you go through their websites, you will never find a reliable scholar. You will never find a scholar who's known as a person. All, all what you will see is, Abu Hatim at Zarkashi, Abu Mujahid at Tunisi, Abu uh, uh, Abdullah and Najdi. Nicknames. Who are they? I don't know. And you will find articles, PDFs, pages and pages of quotations here and there. You don't know who wrote them. And they are made to deceive and to confuse the Muslims. It could have been written by the CAA or the KGB or whatever. Who cares? But it's definitely used to confuse the Muslims. So without referring back to the true real scholars of Islam, whom we have a lot and plenty of, these youth are in great danger and Allah knows best.